Hey, hey, descendants! Welcome back to Crimson Sands. Today we are going to talk about is it important to have all the descendants under your sleeves? It is important to have all the weapons as well. So to talk about this is really important to know okay why do we need oldest descendant because a lot of people they just use like they just like myself I I like to use Ajax we can we can uh, it's easy to build Ajax to make it nearly unkillable a lot of people like to use Bunny because it's a very like to farm anything is very fast and efficient like you can run through a hard mission with Bunny in, in like five ten minutes if if you if you don't need to wait for the monsters to spawn. So, like so, why do we need all the descendants? So when we talk about this, we talk about it is very important to know the one thing we call mastery rank. Right in the descendant, the there are different levels of things. Okay, first of all, is that the maximum level, we, they call it proficiency level of the weapons will be 40. Maximum level of a weapon will be 40. So once your weapon reach level 40 on the proficiency, you can see this is 40, this is 24, this is 17. Then you can no longer level up. For a weapon to be continued level up, you will need to um, enhance your weapon with the same weapon. For example, if one, if I want to enhance my thunder cage, that means that I we we already enhanced the weapon four times. However, however, there's one thing is even if you build another four four um, thunder cage, every, you will. Even though every time you need to re-level up from level 1 to level 40, when you are doing from the second time onwards, it is not going to increase your level on the mastery. The mastery rank experience can be earned by completing missions, raising weapon proficiency, or leveling up your descendants. But you can only do it once, right? Because we all know uh, we can... We Doing the module, right? When we increase the capacity, when we every time we use energy activator, we will the descendant will go back to level one, okay? And then we will need to go back to this level one, and then we need to re-level this again. But all the levels earned from the second time onwards doesn't matter if on the descendant. Or on the sound or on the weapon, it will not go to your mastery rank. Okay, it only they will only calculate the first time when you're building this this descendant. So, meaning the only way for us to continue to earn points to get a higher level on the mastery rank is by building our descend every single descendant okay there are so many descendants so you will need to build all of them ev like at least one time for to 40 okay same for the same for the weapon as well so what we do is in order to achieve that mastery rank 26 we will need to farm all of the descendants and then we will need to level up all of the weapons okay yeah of course we need to farm for the ultimate weapons but when we pick up all these rare ones or the normal ones we also level them up from 1 to 40 you know we also level them up from 1 to 40 and after that we can just um, <laughs> we can just throw them away, uh, dismantle them, and never, never need them again. And that will give us 
the chance to achieve level 26, which is the maximum right now. Uh, that's what we live, you know. So, why do I want to enhance my mastery rank? Okay, this is why people want to get mastery rank 26. Of course, the status, right? Yes, then that means you have achieved the highest level for now in the game. So it looks great, Tw level 26. Also, what else can you get? You will get extra capacity on your descendant mo module. When you're only level 1, you're only 25 capacity. You only have 8 slots. When you are level 21, then you will have capacity of 50 as your minimum on your module. So that that is a big difference for your descendant, how you building your descendant. We, we talked about it the other day, right? Uh, capacity meaning how many modules you can put and how much how many levels you can put on your module and that means the, the stats of your descendants that will affect the stats of your descendant same for the weapon that will affect the stats of your weapons so you need to have higher capacity you need to have more slots then you can have more modules and then you can have maximum leveled modules in your descendants and your weapon so that will greatly affect your gaming experience not to mention right you will have extra storage slots extra equipment invent inventory slots you will have extra consumable inventory slots you can see the difference between one level one and level 26 ship stabilizer inventory limits it's 100 consumable inventory is 520 520 storage slot is 134 can you see the difference this is on the level one Right, of course you can purchase all these inventory slots, consumable slots with money. But I don't believe you can purchase. I mean, yeah, you can't purchase. You can work on this by using the energy activator and the catalyst. But um, yeah, I don't think to achieve the maximum right now, the maximum capacity right now from what we see will be 85 right 85 and to achieve 85 you need to have minimum 50 and then you do the energy activator to increase your capacity and then it's possible for you to reach the 85 capacity for now I haven't seen, we haven't seen any YouTubers, any other creators, descendants or players to have more than 85 capacity. If you do, please let us know. <laughs> then that's a very good news. So then we can, yeah, that'd be very good news. So, so that is why we need to have all the descendants and why we need to live up all of the weapons. Okay, so. That's what we are working on. We are trying to work on, even though this is a standard, standard weapon, we are not going to use it, but we want to level it up to maximum 40, then we will no longer need to keep them. And then once we level it up to maximum 40, then we will have a lot more points for the master rank. And then we will see uh, what is the developer going to do um, with how how we can pro how can we progress? Of course, we already see, understand from the developers' announcement that is they didn't expect we already collect all of the weapons, um, all of the descendants, and we are like really on the top of the on the top of this game. So. That's why, 
Okay. So of course, if you think, okay, you just want to relax, you just want to chill. You're not worried about having this gold bar. <laughs> you're not worried about having this gold bar to show that you are level twenty six, and then you are not worried about the capacity. I mean, capacity right now is fifty. Once you reach the mastery twenty, you don't have more capacity. Okay, it's fifty minimum, all the way to the level twenty six. I don't know if they are going to change that. Uh, but at least maybe for some people they think okay level twenty is good enough for them. They can buy all the other slots and if they don't need a gold bar. Then that's your choice. It's just to share with you this information. I hope it helps, and you know how you want to progress in this game, and then what you need to do next. Thank you very much for today, and I hope to see you very soon. Have a very good day. Bye bye.